touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. And here's Sean Sweezum after the touchdown to kick this one off. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. A chance for us again to look at this Pittsburgh defense. They are holding serve here at home. The fans were into this one. They did what they needed to do. And right now I'm just cupping my hand to my ear and listening to the approval that they're getting from the home crowd right now. <laughs> That's actually true, by the way. He was, he was physically exactly. cupping his hand to his ear. Exactly. A job well done. Exactly what you want to accomplish, though. Let's face it. We talk to every coach in the league. We want to take care of our home games. Establish home field security. Win it home, and they're going to get that done. Throwing, Dalton, Green with a catch, left side. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Third down now following the completed pass. And the Bengal fans are probably saying, where has that been? And they have to, because everyone wants to talk about having a balanced offense. But these two, Andy Dalton, A.J. Green, their connection is vital to their chances of winning. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. With it is Brown. Oh, spinning away. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking.